Hello everyone and welcome to today's webinar. I'm Bella at KCommerce, joined by Peter. KCommerce is the leading market intelligence provider in China. Hello, good to see you here. For the next 30 minutes, we are going to explore the oil price slump and its risk and opportunity. A recorded version of this webinar will be available. We will upload it to YouTube and send you the link. If you have any questions, send it in the chat box anytime and we will personally email you after the webinar to give you an answer. Okay, let's start. Bella, as we know, OPEC producers and allies have agreed a record oil deal that will slash global output by 10% after a slurve in demand caused by coronavirus lockdowns. Could you introduce the timeline of the oil war for us first? Okay, on March the 6th, 2020, the OPEC meeting failed to negotiate an additional 1.5 million barrels of crude oil reductions per day from OPEC and its partners OPEC Plus. This stems from the differences between non-OPEC oil producing countries led by Russia and OPEC led by Saudi Arabia. The latter requires a reduction in output greater than that proposed by non-OPEC oil producing countries. On March the 8th, Saudi Arabia announced that it had significantly reduced the official prices of major crude oils of different grades, hitting an unprecedented discount. In the announcement, the price of Arabian light crude oil Social Asia was lowered by six US dollar per barrel compared with March. The price for sale to US was reduced by seven US dollar per barrel. The price for sale to Northwest European Union was reduced by eight US dollar per barrel. In contrast, the discount price of Russia's rural crude oil sold to Northwest European Union is only two US dollar per barrel. Opening on March the 9th, 2020, the price of French crude future plant from 45.5 US barrel to 31.02 US dollar per barrel, a drop of 31.8%. In early April, US President Trump stated that he is expecting Russia and Saudi Arabia to announce substantial reductions in crude oil production. And Saudi official media reported that Saudi Arabia is calling on oil producing countries to convene an emergency meeting to deal with the market turmoil. Brent crude oil surged 47% to 36.27 US dollar per barrel, which was also the largest intraday increase in its history. On April the 13th, OPEC plus countries managed to reach a deal to cut production by 9.7 million barrels per day. It is also expected that the major oil producers outside OPEC plus will cut production by 4 to 5 million barrels per day. At the same time, OPEC plus countries issued a statement to hold a video conference on June the 10th, 2020 to determine further actions to balance the oil market. As the news on 20th April, Traders desperated to avoid the oil in oil and flood the markets last Monday, sending crude futures into negative territory for the first time ever, in recognition that the coronavirus pandemic has saved the demand for oil and there is not enough storage for the massive glut of oil present on U.S. soil. Investors sold the main futures contract due to the expire in a series of waves. At one point, the contract hit negative 40 US dollars. When the trading stopped, crude oil had finished the day and a negative 37.63 US dollars a barrel, a decline of some 305%. US oil price turned negative for the first time. Let's discuss about the major reasons for the crude oil slump. There is no doubt that the COVID-19 epidemic affected the global economy and the demand for crude oil fell sharply. At present, the epidemic has spread to hundreds of countries around the world, which has caused serious consequences in many countries. The global financial market is affected by the epidemic, no matter the U.S. Dow Jones Industrial Index, the Nasdaq Index, or Japan and the European Union stock markets. There has been a continuous decline. The epidemic is hitting the global economic growth. Goldman Sachs and Morgan Stanley have lowered the forecast.
for the economic growth rate of the major global economies for this year. Oxford Economics has concluded that if the epidemic spreads globally, it will have a significant negative impact on the group of seven. In the first half of the year, the global GDP growth rate may fall to zero, and the entire year may lose one trillion US dollars. If it is more serious, the United States and the European Union will experience a technical recession in the first half of 2020. The decline in economic growth and even recession will undoubtedly impact crude oil demand. At present, many countries have asked the people to stay home. The second is that the USA shale oil production continues to rise and the international crude oil market is oversupplied. Since 2018, the global crude oil has been in oversupplied and it is an upward trend. In November 2019, global crude oil demand was approximately 94.14 million barrels per day, but the supply is about 102.14 million barrels per day. The supply exceeds the demand by 8 million barrels per day. According to public information, under the assumption of the current resources and technical levels, USA crude oil production will reach 30.09 million barrels per day in 2020 an increase of approximately 2 million barrels per day from 2018 and an increase of approximately 800,000 BPD from 2019. In addition, U.S. crude oil production will continue to grow in the next 10 years. In 2030, it will reach 40.46 million barrels per day. The oversupply of international crude oil is very obvious. Within OPEC and with oil producing countries, such as the United States, Russia, and Venezuela, it is impossible to reach production limiting agreements. The shale revolution has greatly reshaped the global oil and gas energy landscape. With the rapid development of shale oil since 2011, the share of U.S. crude oil has also rebounded sharply. OPEC is weakening its ability to control the international oil prices. Qatar and Ecuador withdrew from OPEC in January 2019. The development of new energy, especially new energy vehicles, has long-term negative effects on international oil prices, as the previous oil production restrictions has caused the oil price to soar. Major industrial countries around the world have invested in heavily in the new energy generation, especially in recent years, new energy vehicles have developed rapidly and the European Union and China have already established a timetable for electric vehicles to replace fuel vehicles. This puts a lot of pressure on international oil prices. The development of new energy vehicles will greatly reduce in the international demand for crude oil. In 2020, Tesla's stock price sold and the pace of electric car ever is getting closer. Traditional fuel car companies are facing increasing pressures in the market. Toyota, General Motors, BMWs, Benz, and other auto giants have also increased investment in electric vehicles. Look back into the past, we have noticed that the global oil prices can fluctuate dramatically with the economic crisis. Peter, let's take a look at the global oil price in vital crisis since 1990. Yes, indeed. For instance, the 1997 Asian financial crisis. On the first day of 1997, the Asian financial turmoil swept through Thailand soon the storm spread to Malaysia. Singapore, Japan, South Korea, China, and other places. In this crisis, the price of Brent crude oil fell from about 21 US dollar per barrel to less than 11 US dollar, the largest drop of 50 percent. The 2008 and subprime mortgage crisis, the economic growth of various countries has fallen sharply. Global crude oil demand has shrunk severely. This leads to a sharp drop in oil prices. The brand crude oil price continued to decline from the second half of 2008 to the end of 2008, falling from a record high to 45.59 US dollars per barrel. The 2020 COVID-19 crisis 
Since the end of 2019, the COVID-19 has reached China, USA, European Union, etc. In addition, the OPEC Plus cannot reach an agreement on output reduction. In the March 2020, the Brent crude oil price jumped to 22.74 US dollars per barrel. If the oil price is promising, there are some potential risks. Depression of global economy. If oil prices continue to slump, it will wish it will trigger deflation. The oil price plant directly affects gasoline prices, with the indirect effect lowers manufacturer's production costs, which in turn lowers the producer price index (PPI) and the consumer price index (CPI). This will increase the risk of deflation. Currently, the USA, Japan, European Union Central Bank have been hit by the epidemic. The work is about to start a new wave of interest rate cuts. As the global epidemic has spread since March 2020, European Union and USA stock markets have plummeted. Many central banks have lowered their benchmark interest rate. The intensity and the speed of the measures have hit a new high since the 2008 subprime mortgage crisis. Since the March 2020, the Federal Reserve System (FED) has lowered its benchmark interest rate by 150 base points. The adjustment rate is the highest in history. Affected by this, the yield of U.S. Treasury bonds fell sharply. The current Treasury Inflation Protected Securities (TIPS) bond yield has fallen to the negative values, highlighting market concerns about deflation. Affected by this, superimposing the market's expectation of USA FED's interest rate cut in March, the 10-year U.S. Treasury bond yield fell sharply. The trend of negative interest rates in the United States have further strengthened. All these signs may indicate that the global economy is about to fall into deflation. The capital market debt crisis, one of the most prominent risks among the capital markets, maybe the USA share oil companies. On April 1, 2020, One of the most prominent risks among the capital markets may be USA shale oil companies. On April 1, 2020, Whiting Petroleum, a large US shale oil company, applied for bankruptcy protection and became the first large US shale oil manufacturer to go bankrupt since the international oil price plummeted in March. Whiting Petroleum is the largest oil company in the back shale geological belt in Colorado and North Dakota, according to the court documents. Whiting Petroleum currently faces 3.6 billion U.S. dollars in debt. If this leads to a credit crisis in the U.S. bond market, it will lead to a significant deterioration in the corporate financial environment and may have a ripple effect that will affect the global capital market. National debt crisis in addition to risk of debt prices at the capital market, some countries will also face the debt problems. According to public information on the ratio of oil export revenue to GDP, physical deficit external debt and foreign exchange reserves and the major oil exporting countries in the world can be divided into four categories. If lower oil prices continue, these four categories of countries will face the following situations. In the first category, there is less pressures on physical deficits and less pressures on external debt repayment. Such countries include Iraq, Kuwait. In the second category, the physical deficit pressure is greater, but external debt repayment pressure is less. Such countries include Saudi Arabia, Iran, and Angola. The third country is less pressures on physical deficits, but greater pressures on external debt repayment. Such countries include Libya. The fourth category is the high pressures of physical deficit and external debt repayment pressures. Such countries include Venezuela. 
in the oil price is maintained at low level of 20 to 30 US dollar per barrel for a long period. The third and the fourth countries will face a great risk of debt crisis. Let's take a look at the specific risks on the major oil producing countries like Russia, Saudi Arabia, Canada, Kuwait, and the USA. Half of the Russian national budget revenue comes from the energy industry. Low oil prices will undoubtedly large fiscal revenue, but the ruble's floating exchange rate system combined with a flexible tax system which can mitigate the impact. At the same time, Russia's 150 billion US dollar state welfare fund can make up for the loss of oil revenue at a price of 25 to 30 US dollars barrels per day in 10 years for Saudi Arabia, which launched the oil price war. Its external debt pressure is not great, but it will also have to face serious fiscal deficit problems in the future. If oil prices continue to remain low, U.S. shale oil companies will suffer significant losses. At present, the yield of U.S. high-yield corporate bonds has risen significantly. This implies a possible default risk. Canada is rich in high sulfur oils and the prices of these oils are usually low. Therefore, when oil prices tumble, the profit margins of high-cost producers will drop significantly. Since the USA sanctions have greatly reduced Venezuela's ability to export crude oil, the plunge in international oil prices means the country's crude oil revenue will further decrease, which is likely to depend on the economic crisis. Low oil prices have hit the Australian oil production industry hard. In addition, the Australian dollar has always been regarded as a commodity currency and its exchange rate is closely related to oil prices. So the rise and fall of oil prices will cause the Australian dollar exchange rate to fluctuate sharply. Norway is a typical oil producing country. Oil and natural gas account for more than one-third of Norway's export and one-fifth of the country's income. After the oil price plummeted, the Norwegian Corona exchange rate fell to a record low against the euro, and the Oslo stock exchange also fell sharply. But uh, as we know, the foreign oil price has different effects on global chemical products. Now let's talk about the influence on global chemical industry. Yes, according to the position of industrial chains, where chemical products are located, there is a big difference in the speed and difficulty of price transmission after the oil price fell. Chemicals close to consumer ends have a long relationship from crude oils, and product price changes are lagging behind, and the magnitude is smaller. Therefore, it will benefit from the cost reduction. The cost of chemicals close to resources end is relatively fast. When crude oil price fell, product price tended to decrease. In addition, coal chemical industries will lose its competitive advantage as crude oil price fell, and the price of related products may be negatively affected. Consumer and chemical products are expected to benefit from the plunge in oil price. These products include tires, plastics, paints, inks, and adhesive. The price changes of these products are relatively less affected by the price of the crude oil. The decline in crude oil price is conducive to improving profit margins. The price of chemical products on the resources end will be downward. These products include olefins, aromatic hydrocarbons, solvents, polyester, etc. Coal chemical industry uses coal as a raw material. When the oil price is at a high level, the cost advantage of coal chem chemical industry is more obvious. When the oil price tumbles, the profitability of alternative technology coal chemical industry will also narrow. Looking back on China's price data, the price of crude oil has a clear positive relationship with the prices of many coal chemical products, such as urea, methanol, PVC, ethylene glycol, and so on. In addition to the above direct impact on chemical products, 
oil price declines also have indirect effects, including reducing the demand for agricultural chemical products. For example, benefiting from high crude oil prices, coal ethanol has achieved rapid development. Its consumption has tripled. More than 40% of coal worldwide is used to produce coal ethanol. Industry demand has become the main force driving food demand. But as oil prices plummeting, coal ethanol will lose its economic advantage. Corn ethanol production will shrink. In the medium to long term, the production may be suspended. This will reduce global corn demand. The sluggish demand will be cause the corn price to tumble, and corn planting will suffer losses. Some farmers will switch to plant soybean, but it will cause oversupply and then soybean's price will fall. Then, the output of these two products accounts for over one-third of the total global food production. The weakness price of these two products will directly lead to a decline in global agricultural products and a sharp decline in farm incomes. Therefore, farmers have to reduce the planting area and planting costs by reducing the global demand for potash, phosphate, pesticides, etc. U.S. oil prices were on track for their worst day on the record on last Monday, April the 20th, with crude oil storage facilities fulfilling rapidly as coronavirus pandemic continues to crush demand. Well, what business opportunity we can see from the oil price slump? Can you tell me more? Please yes, ask. we can see the increasing investment trend of crude oil storage system. According to public statistics, the capacity of global crude oil reserve system is about 1 billion barrels. However, due to the impact of the epidemic on the transportation network, it is currently difficult for most of the reserve systems to function properly. In view of the higher cost of shutting down oil wells, it will cause oil companies to interrupt their cash flow, and many ports and refineries have stopped accepting crude oil from tankers. As a result, crude oil producers are willing to dispose of excess crude oil at a very low prices. In the case of low prices, large crude oil consumers will increase their crude oil reserves. As a result, investment in crude oil storage systems will increase, and sales of oil storage system-related products will be promoted. Secondly, the process of coal to gas conversion in Chinese industry and commercial enterprises will accelerate, as international oil prices plummeted. Natural gas prices also fell sharply. This will greatly reduce the cost of using natural gas. In the past 10 years, in order to improve air quality, the Chinese government has been working hard to promote the conversion of coal to gas in the industry sector. However, because the cost of using natural gas is higher than that of coal, progress from coal to gas is relatively slow. Natural gas prices have, have fallen sharply with the crude oil prices. This will greatly reduce the cost of using natural gas. This is conducive to promoting the conversion of industrial and commercial enterprises to natural gas. Increasing the use of natural gas will bring new development opportunities to related products. These products include natural gas combustion equipment, natural gas pipelines, etc. Petrol member PVC will gain new development opportunities. The production members of PVC can be divided into petroleum members and coal members. Due to the lower cost of raw materials, coal member PVC occupies the largest market share, especially in China. However, with the sharp drop in crude oil prices, China's raw coal prices and PVC prices have not been significantly reduced. Therefore, the profits of petroleum member PVC could increase. In the future, there will be more capital to pay attention to petroleum member PVCs, which may drive investments in petroleum member PVC production equipment and technology. However, due to the huge investments in petroleum member PVC, the specific changes will need time to be observed. Yeah, how time flies. At the end of this webinar, let me summarize the main points of today's meeting. 
On March 9, 2020, the price of Brent crude future plunged from 45.5 US dollars per barrel to US dollar 31.02 US dollars per barrel, a drop of 31.8 percent. A new oil price war began. The main reason for the war is that the global demand demand for crude oil has dropped sharply due to the COVID-19. Till April 5, 2020, the Brent crude oil price is below 30 US dollars per barrel. The low oil price will cause two risks, which are the global economy deflation and the capital market and the national debt crisis. One of the most prominent risks among the capital markets may from USA shale oil companies to global chemical industry. The fall in oil price has different effects. According to the position of the industry chain where chemical products are located, there is a big difference in the speed and the difficulty of price transmission after the oil price falls. Except the direct influence of oil price learn, the indirect influence should also be noticed. There might be a butterfly effect on chemical industry from the oil price slump. Although there are many risks ahead, there are also many opportunities, such as crude oil storage, cold gas conversion, petroleum massive PVC, and etc. Let's wrap up here. Thank you very much for attending, and we hope you could get some key points out of the presentation. If you have any question left, please write them down in the chat box. We will gather all of them and answer them detailed to your email as soon as possible. All the information was enabled by our brands, CCM, and the try analysis. If you want to find out more, I recommend you to have a look at our website and contact our team for any questions and inquiries. Thanks again and have an awesome day. Please keep safe and be strong. Best of luck. Goodbye.